Hey, what's up guys, it's Brandon Sanchez here. And in this video, I wanted to teach you guys how to set up a Google Display campaign. Okay, now before we begin, if you're new to my channel, uh, I actually give out my six years of paid advertising experience with Google, YouTube, Facebook, Native, you know, basically all the traffic sources. Um, and I just created this channel to help you guys out and uh, teach you guys how to use paid traffic to either A, build your own online business, or B, help scale with whatever it is you got going on. You know, it's just tips and strategies for you guys to get to the next level, okay? Now, if you guys like this type of content, please subscribe, like the video, and share it with somebody that you think it would have value for, okay? Just really help me grow because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to give back and, and try to help you guys, okay? So let's get back into the video. So as you can see, I'm in my Google Ads account. What you wanna do is you wanna go and hit display campaigns. I'm already in there. Just go to add new campaign, right? It's gonna ask you for what type of goal uh, you want the campaign to be, right? So this usually for sales, it's either gonna be like an e-commerce type of business. That's usually what the trend is going nowadays is gonna be e-commerce. You know, driving sales online, in-app, by phone, or in-store. Leads, obviously, you're trying to generate leads for your business. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what type of business. If you're just trying to generate leads, this is going to be the one you're going to want to go to. Website traffic, I never really use this. If, if you're going to choose anything, don't ever use product and brand consideration unless you're Nike or you're Apple. But I pro I'm thinking you're probably a newbie and you're not Nike or Apple, so don't worry about that. Uh, local visits and store promotions, that could be good if you're like an agency looking to uh, bring in new restaurant leads for a business. Um, and then obviously app promotion, if you're going to promote an app. And then brand awareness, again, you're Nike and Apple, but you're probably not. So for the sake of this video, for the majority of everybody in this uh, video, I know you're either going to be in sales for your e-commerce or generating leads for your business. So we're just going to uh, choose leads. Obviously, it's going to tell you to select a campaign type. This is not search. This is not a shopping one. This is not video. It's going to be display. Okay, so this is where it's going to ask you what type of display campaign do you want. Now, the standard display campaign is going to be obviously the original display type of campaign. It's going to be the, you know, the classic display campaign, which is going to be like banners, you know, the 350 by 250 type of images and just all the things you see around like Yahoo or like your Yahoo email account, or when you just go on websites and you see those little uh, ads that are just on the, on the right hand side. You guys know what I'm talking about. Everybody sees those ads, <laughs> they get annoying, but hey, people are making money with them. So you want to do that too, okay? The smart display campaign, I've tested this. And honestly, I don't suggest this at all. Cause I mean, maybe, maybe it might work for somebody else. It might work you know, for you, but for me, I spent a lot of money on these, this smart display and I got a whole bunch of junk leads. Okay. Uh, coming from sites that were not there, they were like non-existent sites. It was, it was just a nightmare when I ran this, I told my rep and you know, I told them that, you know, Hey, you know, you, I basically wasted my money on this display campaigns and, uh, you know, whatever. So in all honesty, guys do not, use display campaigns i would either i would stick with this regular standard okay and then you have the gmail campaigns. now these are going to be the type of ads that you're going to see in like people's gmail accounts or yahoo accounts and they're just going to be like little images with like a quick headline and they kind of blend in as emails um these are really good as well but for the sake of this video i'm just going to keep it real simple let's just stick with the standard display campaign okay so basically the banner ads Okay, so let's just go ahead and click continue. <clears throat> now, let's just call this campaign, let's just call it test, right? Obviously, this is not going to be a real campaign. Uh, languages, now, obviously, whatever language that you are going to be targeting. I know some of you guys are from around the world. So for this video, we're just going to stick with uh, English, right? It's going to be United States campaign. Obviously, this is you can. What's cool about this is that you can just enter whatever location you want. It doesn't have to just be a country. It could be. It could be a city. It could be a, uh, uh, you know, county. It can be. It can be all kinds of things, really. I mean, it's kind of like Facebook in that way. It can be like state. You know, it could be a state as well. It could be whatever it is that you want. 
Um, and Google's really good at dialing in on what location you're trying to target, okay? So languages, like we said, it's going to be English. Bidding. Now, I actually made a, a video about bidding inside of the Google AdWords bidding strategies. If you didn't see that, I would recommend you watching that to talk more about bidding. But um, for display, you never really you never want to start it off as a target CPA type of campaign, which it says right here. Target CPA is a type of method, a bidding method that you want to use when you actually have you know, let's say 30 conversions. You want you want conversion data in your campaigns, okay? If you don't have that, this is not a good strategy to use, okay? So instead of this, let's see, let's go ahead and select a bid strategy. Maximize conversions. I'll for, whenever you start a brand new campaign, always choose manual cost per click and never, never click on this help increase conversions with enhanced cost per click. Because you're giving Google the uh, basically the permission to spend more than what you want to pay for. So let's just say if you spend five dollars a click, right? But you have this enhanced CPC on, then Google's gonna even it can even double your bid, right? So basically, kind of wasting money, but it says that it's going to be you know spending money on 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 you know sites or placements that are going to be likely to convert, right? To generate the lead for you. To be honest, guys, I wouldn't do that. You know, I would just unclick that button and uh i would just stick with regular manual cost per click and if you're not getting traffic you could always raise your bid later just so you guys can see what the average cost per click is for the certain placement that you want okay whenever you run paid ads you always want to have full control of what you're doing you know for the smart bidding methods like target cpa and things like that you know you actually want to have you know data from from the past so like past conversion data and then i would give it a try Okay, and honestly, Google has the best smart bidding method. Like the target CPA is phenomenal. Okay, and I've tested Taboola, I've tested everything, and this is the best. Okay, so we'll leave it at manual cost per click. Now, for the budget, obviously, it's going to be depending on what type of budget that you guys want to spend. I always, I don't know, that's just me. I always choose $100 a day for any campaign that I do. It doesn't mean I'm going to spend that. I just like to have the 100 there, and because I, it gives me data at a, at a good speed. So there's a delivery method. Um, you can choose standard or accelerated for this video. And when it's a new campaign, I would just select standard. Okay. Accelerated is a good delivery method to use when you're trying to scale. Okay. But right now we're not talking about scaling. We're just talking about setting up a brand new Google display campaign. All right. So here goes the ad group. So again, let's just call this test right now. This is where it gets very because Google has a lot of different types of uh, ways to target okay so like for example you can target by audiences or in demographics right so you can choose so let's just see there's ideas there's browse okay so here's where you're gonna be it so let's talk about the different types of audiences that you can use okay the affinity Okay, affinity is basically more of like a broad audience of people that are not really, they're just kind of browsing around the internet, you know, kind of like on shopping, not even shopping sites, just kind of information sites that are related to bat, like, so related to whatever topic you want. Like, let's just say basketball, right? If you wanted to actually have people buy basketball products, you don't want them on sites, on affinity sites, because they're just looking up like basketball information. You know, you want you want that you want to target people that are if you're if you're looking to buy something that's related to basketball, you want them inside of like an e-commerce store or inside of Amazon or inside of uh, any type of any type of store that's actually getting people to buy, right? So affinity is more of like a like a branding type of uh, audience, but there is a lot of traffic there, and uh, I would only recommend that audience type when you're looking to scale. Okay, so then you have in market and custom intent. Okay, so in market, this is going to be like the example I mentioned above, like, you know, people that are actually, you know, that have past, you know, data that shows that they're actually looking to buy something or they have already showed interest in buying something. Okay, to be honest, guys, in market is where you're going to want to be whenever you're trying to generate leads or you're trying to do anything that's related to you actually getting any type of you know direct response from your advertising efforts in market is where you want to be and they have tons of different you know types of uh in market audiences and it all depends on your niche 
right? I'm not going to go through every single one of them. I just want to give you guys, you know, the actual, you know, explanation of what type of audiences there are. So that way you guys can go ahead and play around with it, dig deep inside of it and uh, figure out which one is going to be best for you and your business. Okay, so now the, 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 the last one they have is the remarketing and similar audiences. This is, you know, obvious, but obviously when people go onto your site, they didn't buy, you know, you want to create that remarketing list. Well, this is where you're going to be able to target those people that came to your site but didn't actually take any action, okay? Remarketing is powerful. If you guys are not using remarketing, and you know, I don't care what type of business that you're in, you're leaving money on the table. So get always have a remarketing audience set up, okay? So then the demographics you can do, again, how it says, reach people based on age, parental status, gender, and household income. You can click whatever it is you like, but keep in mind when you guys de-click any of these options, you're not going to get, you're gonna, you're basically restricting your traffic, right? Now there's content targeting as well, which has keywords, topics, or placements. Okay, so keywords, so this is gonna be obviously choosing terms related to your products or service, services to target relevant websites, okay? And then you have topics, which is choosing topics to target many web pages, apps, and videos about a certain subject, and then placements. This is where you're gonna to wanna to choose specific websites. So like if you're a business that wants to, you know, only advertise on msn.com, you know, you could actually go into, create your campaign, and then put in, I only want traffic to msn.com, right? You can choose whatever it is that you like. You can do websites, YouTube channels, YouTube videos, apps, et cetera, right? Honestly, guys, Google Display is a really, really great traffic source. Um, one thing that is what that will be tricky for you is, is, is kind of choosing the right audience because there's so many types of, uh, uh, you know, targeting options that you might get a little lost. So if I were you and this was a brand brand new campaign, I'm just gonna give you guys a cool tip. I would stick with the in-market audiences. Okay, I've tested everything <laughs> literally and the in-market audiences is where you're most likely gonna wanna be. And if you're like a small agency or you're an agency and you know your agency, you know your client wants to have specific results from display, I would just go on placements and choose the specific websites that you feel are more likely to convert for your client. I okay, hope all this makes sense, okay, guys? So just take it easy, play around with this, set up a small campaign, spend, you know, a couple bucks, no, not a couple bucks, at least 20, 30 bucks, 50 bucks, and uh, play around with it. But, um, you know, again, this is a really great traffic source for you, to get, for you guys to use, okay? Now, the ad group bid. So this is where you can choose the maximum you'd want to spend for your ad group. Let's just choose $5 for the sake of this video. Um, again, this all depends on your budget, guys. Okay, it all depends on your budget. Now, where you create your ads, we're not actually going to create an ad right now. So you can actually upload a dis a display ad, or or you can create a responsive display ad. Right. To be honest, guys, I wouldn't touch the responsive stuff. I would I would get whatever type of images or banners that you guys have and have them in, in, in different sizes, right? Like a 350 by 250, you know, a 780 by 90, um, you know, different types of um, actual sizes. So that way you guys can make sure that you guys, that your ads are actually being um, ran on multiple sites at different placements. So that way you guys can get the most traffic and the most bang for your buck, okay? I'll actually make a separate video about, um, you know, the best types of sizes for your display campaigns okay and if you guys don't know how to make banners you guys don't know how to do you know do it on your own you guys can hire somebody on fiverr you can hire somebody on upwork you know send them an image of what you want and they'll basically resize that image to all the specific sizes okay guys there's no reason for you guys not to get started with google display um, use your resources, guys. Use use Fiverr, use Upwork to get those banners and get your campaigns up and running so you guys can make some more money, right? That's what it's all about. So at the end of that, once you actually add in your ads, you can go and click Create Campaign. Oh, select the location. Um, hold on. Maybe I didn't. Oh, sorry. Okay, so United States. 
Got lost in my own sauce right there. So you can just go ahead and click create campaign and then you guys are basically ready to go to the next one. We don't care because we don't we're not testing this. And then you're basically done, guys. Okay, now it's just asking me for more ads and just put in some ads, but that's it. So once you guys actually insert your ads, you guys will be all set and you guys can start testing it. Okay, now when you guys are actually testing your, your campaigns, always, this is a good tip, always, always, always be in your, um, your placement section where your ads showed because there's going to be a lot of sites that are basically junk sites and you guys want to constantly be blacklisting those sites. You're basically cutting out the crap and leaving what works, right? Anyway, guys, that's that's the whole video. That's how you set up a Google Display campaign. If you guys like this type of content, remember, guys, please subscribe. You know, it really helps me out. And uh, once again, guys, this is Brandon Sanchez, and I'll see you in the next video.